Hello everyone. This is my third video of my tutorials of Docker for developer. Today we will see how to install Docker on Windows and Mac OS. In this one, today I will discuss step by step instruction on how to set up Docker in Windows and OS and uh, Mac OS and what are the basic requirements and what are the precautions we have to make sure to run it very easily. So let's start. First of all, we have to discuss about the what are the hardware requirements. So the first hardware requirement is that our machine should support hardware label virtualization. If it is if your machine is Intel based, so it, it should be support BTX. And if your machine having AMD processor, so you have uh, means your machine have to process and support AMD V. And virtualization should be enabled. To check that, to, uh, what is your virtualization? You can use HAV2. HAV2 is also known as Microsoft Hardware Assisted Virtualization Detection Tool. Okay, and this is the link. You can go and download directly. It is very small app, and I will provide this link into my description box also, so it, it will be easy and handy for you. After that, your system should be 64 bit because docker doesn't su support on 32 bits okay so these are the requirements okay so let me first show you that what it looks like that from where you have to download hav so just go back this is the link just come below click on download and it will download this started i already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it okay so next thing is next is download docker so there are two different way to docker download and install if you're having window which version is less than 10 like 7 or window 8 something like that then you have to download docker toolbox and this is the link let me show you so this is the docker toolbox just come here click on if you are mac then click on mac if you are window then click on window okay so once you will click start to download it will start to download i am not going to download it so just close it and if your window having window 10 as i am having window 10 so and 10 or 10 more than 10 then you have to install directly docker installer okay and this is the link so let me show you so this is the link just download and download docker for window condition okay so after this what we have to after downloading uh, go and start to download it and i will show you first of all i will tell you that once suppose if your window having uh, suppose if your machine having window 7 8 or something like that but which is less than 10 so you have to go with the docker toolbox and please make sure that all the options should be ticked down you have to select full installation all the options should be ticked down and then you have to go and as select next and it will be posted okay so just go to the installation part so this is the docker msi just click double click on that accept the license click install it will take a little bit of time okay after that just click finish now just let me show you here so if you go here the docker is starting and running okay it is showing here okay just right click here and you are able to see here that open kitematics just click here and it is showing that kitematic you have to download so i'm not going to once you click download it will start to download okay and after download let me show you what you have to do suppose this is after download this is the coming so just right click here and extract the file In the previous session, I told you that Kinematics is very handy and uh, graphical user interface for Docker. So just go inside this, is just copy this, okay, and go to C program, program files, Docker, and here you have to make a new folder, Matic, and inside just paste it. It is asking, so do this for all current, continue. Fine. Now, if you check here, now if you click open kitematics, it will start a graphical user interface. Let me show you for that. Write your account. So, my account is nothing for big data. And password is very simple. Okay, so, so this is my uh, kitematics graphical user interface. It is very handy. If you want, so just click Docker CLI. And this is your command line interface, and this is your graphical interface. You can do anything. In the case of OS, the installation of OS is also very easy. We have to download Docker for Mac native application and copy it to your 
application folder. Okay. After that, after that, once you will download that, just double click on your docker.app and it will you will get this type of a screen. Okay, and after installation each and everything into your Mac OS, you will get three things: Docker Quick Start Terminal, Kitematics, and VirtualBox. So I hope it is easy to understand how to install uh, Docker on Windows as well as Docker on Mac OS. In case if you are having any issue, please let me know. Please comment down into the comment box and don't forget to share my video and please subscribe my channel. Thanks.